So you're thinking about moving to Gainesville, Florida, and you want to know what it's really like to live here? Well, I'm going to give you the truth from a transplant. Sit tight, let's get introduced real quick, and then we'll jump on in. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish Nystrom. I'm a local real estate professional with Watson Realty here in beautiful Gainesville, Florida. And as always, my sidekick Bubbles. I've lived in Michigan, Ohio, Virginia, North Carolina, and now Florida. So who better to tell you the down and dirty truth about living here in Gainesville, Florida than someone who's not from here? <laughs> Before moving here, I had actually only been through Gainesville, maybe two or three times. We drove down once for a Gator football game. But other than that, I had no knowledge about Gainesville. I wasn't even really sure where Gainesville was. Now, my husband grew up in South Florida, and he is a University of Florida graduate, which is here in Gainesville. So when he was recruited for a position here, it was pretty much game on. We were gonna move to Gainesville. So I want to share with you the things that were important to me before we moved here. And if there's something important to you that I don't go over, please send me a comment in the description area below. Give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text. I'll be happy to get back with you. First of all, I wanted to know, was I going to be able to navigate the city and learn the city easily? And the answer is yes. Gainesville is set up on a grid system, meaning it's super easy and there's multiple ways to go from point A to point B. The streets here are numbered instead of named, with the exception of maybe three or four streets. So getting around Gainesville is really easy. You will learn the city fast. Next, I wanted to know what the shopping was like here. Now, I am not a big shopper, but I wanted to know that I was going to be able to find what we needed and get it easily. So I don't have to shop too much. From a grocery store standpoint, Publix is pretty much the main game in town here. We do have a few Winn-Dixies. We've got a local supermarket called Ward Supermarket, and we've got Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. We did have a little bit of issue with some of the bigger ticket items, but fortunately, um, Jacksonville is only about an hour and a half away and Orlando about two hours away. So if there's something that you can't find here in, in Gainesville, it's easy shopping in one of the major cities in Florida here. Next, what to do in Gainesville. There certainly is not a lack of hiking trails, biking trails, museums, historic parks, and of course the springs here in Gainesville. Being a college town, there's always cultural events and productions being put on at the college, and of course, gator sports. If you love animals like I do, there's two places that you'll definitely want to visit. One is the zoo at the Santa Fe College here in town. It's a great zoo and it's a teaching zoo. Also, there is Ruderville Animal Sanctuary, which is about 30 minutes to the east of town, and that's where Bubbles came from. It's a great place to visit, volunteer, or support financially if you're able. So what about the things that I'm not so crazy about? Well, property taxes here in Alachua County are kind of high, some of the highest in the state. That coupled with the fees from Gainesville Regional Utilities, or GRU, makes living in Gainesville a little bit on the expensive side. However, Florida doesn't have state income tax, so things seem to even out. The next thing I'm not crazy about is we don't have any beaches here in Gainesville. Being in the center of the state, we are equal distance to the East Coast for the beach on the Atlantic coast or you can go to the west and be in some great little fishing villages in about an hour and a half. Last but certainly not least is the weather. Now, I knew moving to Florida was gonna be hot, but honestly, I had no idea how hot 
being in the center of the state, we don't have breezes very often and it gets hot here. That coupled with the pretty much daily rain shower from June 1st to October 1st really kicks up the humidity and that stresses even this girl's humidity control hairspray. Oof. On the other hand, winters in Florida are fabulous. Perfect sleep with the windows open at night, cool temperatures, comfortable cool temperatures during the daytime. People really seem to come alive here in the winter time. Um, projects outside get done. People are out and about a little bit more as opposed to in the summertime where 99% of your time is spent inside because it's so hot outside. Winter times are glorious. Overall, the last three years here in Gainesville have been pretty good. People in Gainesville are generally friendly and you have a small town feel with all of the amenities of a large town. Being centrally located, Gainesville usually doesn't have the impact from hurricanes that of course they do on either of the coasts. We also have I-75 which goes right through Gainesville, making it an easy hop on if you're traveling pretty much any place else in the country. If you'd like to know more about moving to the Gainesville, Florida area and its surrounding towns, reach out to me. You'll find my contact information down in the description area below. Also, you'll see a link to my buyer's guide, my free buyer's guide. You'll see that in the description area below. If you don't see the description area and you're on a mobile device, tap on the name of this video and the description area will open up you're clicking on things click on that subscribe button and the bell icon and give me a thumbs up that'd be great until next week on behalf of myself Trish Nystrom and Bubbles say goodbye Bubbles she's not talking now we'll see you next week stay safe bye